Peach Dragon is Disney's newest live action film and an immediate disclaimer, I have never seen any other Peach Dragon thing ever. In fact, before this film was announced, I never even heard of Peach Dragon and I didn't seek out the original because I wanted to go into this film fresh and knowing hardly anything about it. And Peach Dragon is a very simple film to talk about, it's formulaic, it's really predictable and it has elements that you've seen many times before in other films, but for me, it's all about how well this film executes those elements and I thought Peach Dragon executed them pretty well. By far the best thing about this film is the friendship between Pete and Elliot the dragon. It's very well established at the beginning and it's just so nice and heartwarming seeing these two exploring the woods and having fun. Their bond carries the entire film. Individually speaking, Elliot the dragon is an extraordinary CGI creation. The visual effects are well realised and the way the film blends him in with live action, such as when Pete's riding on his back, it looks seamless and pitch perfect and not once did it look fake or out of place to me. Plus Elliot is just so goddamn lovable. Watching him interact with the world around him and his mannerisms provide a lot of enjoyment and some quite funny moments from time to time. Basically what I'm trying to say is that Elliot was awesome. But I've got to give big props to Augs Feigley, I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. He plays Pete and he was very good in this film. Since Pete's been living in the woods for six years, he has little to no concept of the outside world and how it works and in the scenes where he's interacting with other people and everyday objects, he's clueless and doesn't know what to do and Augs Feigley portrayed that very convincingly so I've got to give that kid major props, he was really good. The combination of Augs' performance and the lovable and well realised Elliot make a really good duo with a likeable friendship and in the scenes where they're in danger it makes it all the more intense and exciting because you care about them and you don't want Elliot to get hurt. The rest of the cast were good in their roles but they do play the kind of generic characters you'd expect to see in a film like this. Bryce Dallas Howard plays the forest ranger who finds and befriends Pete, Robert Redford is her dad who's claimed to have seen the dragon years prior, Carl Urban is the douchebag who wants to capture the dragon for his own greed and fame. It's a well acted film across the board. Now like I said at the start it's a very formulaic movie, it's really predictable, I mean every time a situation arises, you know exactly how it's going to end and resolve. And some people will have a huge problem with these things and I'll understand if they do. I mean I have them down as negatives and problems also, but not by a massive degree. They only compromise the film a little bit because I found the film to be really likeable and enjoyable thanks to the great friendship between Pete and Elliot and the lovability of Elliot, all of which provided the fun that I was hoping for. Tell me in the comments below what you think of Peach Dragon and if you've seen the original film, how does it compare to that? Is it a good remake? Was it an unnecessary remake in your opinion? Whatever all your thoughts are on those questions tell me down in the comments below thanks as always for watching and if you want to see more of my stuff be sure to subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video